Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to connect your Google account with Integromat and use Google Drive, taking in account the restrictions that Google has in place on how users can interact with its APIs. Please note that this tutorial applies to you if you're an at gmail.com or at googlemail.com account user. If you have a G Suite account, then you're already able to connect your account very easily through the Integromat Google Drive app. In order to make this connection possible, you have to create a custom OAuth client, which might sound quite complex and technical, but don't worry, it's a short process and you will see every step in this tutorial. The first step is to open a new browser window and visit the Google Cloud Console. You can either search for it on Google or you can go to console.cloud.google.com. At this point, you need to make sure that you're signed in with the Google account you want to connect to Integromat and use Google Drive with. If it's your first time here, you will be asked to select your country and agree to the Google terms and conditions. Once you do that, you should now be on the dashboard page which looks like this. The next step is to create a new project. To do this, you simply have to click on create project right here. Please note that if you already have some projects in your account, in order to create a new one, you would have to click on this drop down menu first where all your projects are listed and click on the new project button here. When creating a new project, you will first be asked to enter the project name. This can be anything you like, for example, Integromat Google Connection. You can then click on create to create this project. Great. The next step is to enable the Google Drive API under this project. This is what will give permission to Integromat to control your Google Drive account. Navigate to the APIs and Services dashboard page. Click on Enable APIs and Services. Here you can search for the API you want to enable. In this case, that will be the Google Drive API. Click Enable to enable the selected API. The next step will be to navigate to the APIs and Services OAuth Consent Screen Settings page. Here, choose the external option and then click Create. This is the screen where you can define the permissions that Integromat will have when using this API with your Google Drive account. Let's start by entering Integromat in the app name field. In the user support email field, select your email from the list. At the authorized domain section, click add domain and then enter integromat.com. For the developer contact information, simply enter your email since you're the owner of this project. Click save and continue to proceed. Next, click on the Add or Remove Scopes button to set the permissions. Now it's time to select the different actions you would like Integroma to perform using your Google Drive account. Let's select the Auth Drive option. This will allow Integroma to see, edit, create and delete your Google Drive files when instructed to. Let's also select the auth drive.read only option. This will allow Integromat to see and download all your Google Drive files when instructed to. There you have it. With these options selected, Integromat will be able to control your Google Drive account and allow you to create some powerful automation scenarios. Click the update button to add all the selected scopes. Click save and continue to proceed. On this screen, you simply need to click the add users button and then enter the email address associated with the Google account you want to connect with Integromat. Click add. And then save and continue to proceed. Great, we're almost there. Click on credentials to open the credentials page and then click create credentials followed by selecting the OAuth Client ID option. Now let's fill out this short form. 
Application type will be web application. For name, let's enter Integromat. Finally, scroll down to the Authorize Redirect URI section and click on the Add URI button to reveal the URI field. In this field, you need to type the following link. HTTPS semicolon forward slash forward slash www.integromat.com forward slash OAuth forward slash CB forward slash Google dash restricted. Now click on the create button. If you've made it this far, well done. As you can see, a client ID and a client secret key have been successfully generated. There's only one step to go, and that is to connect your Google account with Integromat using these credentials. Let's head over to an Integromat scenario. Let's add the Google Drive app, select any module from the list, and then click on the Add button to create a new connection. Enter a connection name of your choice. It can be anything you like. For this example, let's type Google Drive account. And then click on Show Advanced Settings in order to enter the client ID and client secret key obtained from the Google Cloud Console. Let's go ahead and do that here. Perfect. Now click Continue to begin the connection process. Choose the Google account you want to sign in with. Please make sure that this is the account you signed into your Google Cloud Console with because this is the account that is now configured to work with Integromat. For any other account you want to connect, you would have to repeat the same process again. Once you choose your Google account, a new page will open saying that this app is not verified. Click Continue to proceed. You will then be presented with all the scopes you previously set in your Cloud Console. Click Allow. On this screen, click Allow once again to confirm your choices. Congratulations, the connection to your Google account API has been made. You're now able to use all the Google Drive modules and automate your workflows as usual. This tutorial was quite technical, so if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to our support team. We're always here to help. Happy automating.